Paradise, wonderful world of fashion, beauty, and lifestyles. I'm your host, Diva, and today there's so much to talk about. It is August the 28th, 12.10 uh, a.m. to be exact. We are under Irene Watch here in the eastern seaboard of the United States of America. And as you know, I live in New York City. We are due to feel the wrath of Irene momentarily. So... What else to do while cooped up in the house and the baby sleeping and everybody's just like waiting for the excitement to happen? Let's go ahead and do a video! So, this video, shout out to Miss Murley. She asked me to do this video. Um, I know I kind of briefly mentioned in the last video where I did the Kevin Kwan haul that I did take a class with Mario Dedivanovic. I hope I'm saying it right. I say Mario D. He is Kim Kardashian's makeup artist. And, um... Miss Murley has asked me to talk about the class and to show what goodies we got in the goodie bag. So stay tuned. You know what? I forgot the People magazine. That's what I wanted to have. Okay, so who is Mario D? Like I told you, it's Kim Kardashian's makeup artist. This is the cover from People magazine. They are covering Kim's wedding. And the funny thing is, they have lovely pictures of Kim in here, but none of them with her husband. Maybe one out of the gajillion pictures. But anyway, he did her wedding day makeup. This is the look that um, came out of it. Very fabulous. This is by Mario D. So let's move on and talk about that weekend in LA. So let's go back to the weekend of August 13th. I flew into LA on the Friday. I rented a car and um, I decided to get ready for my class because I enrolled into the portfolio event with Mario and it entailed the first part of the class. We would have a seminar with Mario. He would demo a look on his model and then the second half for those who um, chose to stay behind and do the portfolio event, you would actually get your own model to work with and a professional photographer to shoot your look. So we're going to show you that picture before and after somewhere along the line of this video. So let's go to the Friday. I arrived the Friday and I decide, you know what, let me go downtown shopping and pick up some supplies that I might need for the class. I had to bring my own makeup kit, which I did, and it was very hard condensing it for flight because you know the TSA does have rules as to what you can and cannot bring through. Liquids, creams, or gels have to all fit into that one quart size Ziploc and not exceed three ounces. So you can imagine I had to kind of, you know, scale down my kit so I didn't have too many liquids because I can't have people taking my kit, and I do not check makeup. I do not check my makeup kit because, you know, God, he knows if I got to L.A. and I get to the carousel and it's not there, we're going to have a problem, okay? There'll be an angry black woman shutting down LAX. So anyway, first stop, Beauty Supply, downtown L.A. Somewhere on South Los Angeles Street, they have all these little stores that sell Nicks and all that stuff. So i proceeded to buy lashes 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 galore because you can never have too many lashes i bought three dozen lashes and they cost me 36 dollars do i remember the name of the store i certainly don't but it's on south los angeles street downtown anyway different brands they had red cherry and this brand that looks like the creme they're, they claim to be 100% lashes. Uh, initially, when I asked them, they told me it was $2 a pair. I said, listen, I'm buying in bulk, at least a dozen at a time. So they just basically sold me um, $12 for a dozen, which essentially I just got three dozen. You know, I mean, you can't beat a dollar for a pair of lashes. And you know, as a makeup artist, I really go through lashes quite frequently. And I am booking a lot of gigs lately. Things are picking up again. So I just want to make sure that yes thank you camera woman going a little crooked there so i just want to make sure i have enough lashes for my gig so i did buy lashes another thing that i thought was cute because i did tell you i bought nyx pencils i bought like 12 of those i don't remember how much it cost it was ten dollars or something like that they had these little cute nail things i could not resist these little designer logos and i actually put one on my nail i don't know if you could zoom in and see it is it tiny and i know you're going to ask me what polish this is it's by dolce and gabbana this is Passione. It's kind of chipping up now. That's what happens when I work with my hands. I'm a woman that wash dish and take care of children. And um, chocolate is the stripe that you see down. Anyway, this is the interlocking C's, the Chanel symbol. Anyway, they had that there. I thought those were cute, so I did purchase those. On we go. So I got some supplies. I also met up with two friends in L.A. Shout out to Marquette. It's so funny how you can meet people on the internet and you're in your Twitter world and in your, your forum world and become the best of friends. So I did get to link up with Marquette, spend a good couple of hours with her, and then I met up with the... Then I met up with Mo, okay? Mo is um, Homeek on YouTube. So those of you who do not know, please go check out her channel, Homeek, H-O-L-M-I-Q-E. 
Q-U-E, Q-U-E, right? Sounds like the baby's waking up. Anyway, I, she and I both went to the Grove shopping. I've never been to the Grove, so I said, like, girl, come on, I gotta take you to the Grove. I am the leopard print queen. I gotta show you what I had to get. Of course, shoes, shoes, and more shoes. I'm a shoeholic. I'm a girl with a big foot. Went to Nordy's and picked these up. These are by Sam Elliman. How adorable are these? Adorable. Oh, God, baby's crying. And these are the second pair I picked up. They are by... Dolce Vita. These are what they look like. They're square-toed, once again. Hidden platform. I'm a woman that loves height. Alright? But, we're not here to talk about that. So let's just go ahead and move on and talk about the class with Mario. Went to the class with Mario. It was on the the 13th. Um, and um, when we got there, you know, they were setting up. I'm going to have some pictures. And you can see everything that went on behind the scenes. He did not allow us to take pictures during the event or video during the event. And understandably so, because, you know... The man is a man with tips and tricks that, you know, he'd like to keep with those who are paying to attend his class. At least that's my thinking. To me, it made sense to me. So, in either case, I did learn several tips and tricks that I haven't already begun incorporating into my makeup artistry. And um, after he did his seminar, then he went on and he had us do our models for those who were staying behind in the portfolio event. Oh, how is he to turn it off? I can't hear for those who were staying behind in the portfolio event. So, happy to say I was very pleased with how my pictures came out. You will also see those at the end. And during the session, he gave us tips, he gave us tricks, he gave us products that he liked. There were various sponsors there, and they provided a goodie bag. This is a very condensed version of the goodie bag because, as you know, I had to go on the plane. And that being said, I had to be able to fit everything into my suitcase. First and foremost... In the goodie bag was a sampling from Sigma, Sigma brushes, of course, and they don't do only brushes. Now they're venturing out into the cosmetics line. We got a dual fiber powder blush brush, which is F15. Feels quite, you know, quite soft. As you can see, everything is still in the packaging. I have yet to use them. Uh, he also gave us a lip brush, which is from, you know, all this is a Sigma packaging, which I always love these. These are great to put in your handbag, you know. All right, when you want to do your lips, sometimes you can just rub your lipstick and just put it in here if you don't want to walk with the whole tube. That way, if you have to touch up after eating, you have this in your bag. The other um, Sigma brush they gave us was the eye shading brush, which is E55. It looks like it'll make an excellent packer brush. To, you know, when you want to initially pack the color onto your lid, excellent, excellent, excellent. Feels very soft, actually. Um, the next one is a. Let's see what this is. E35. It says tapered blending. It would kind of remind me of my 217, but it's really, the head is really big compared to my 217. I do have a 217. I don't think I have time to show you, but you get the idea. I, you know, I'm sure it's excellent for blending out shades. Someone with a small eye might have a problem with this. I guess that's where the 266 comes in from, Mac. Whoops, 226. Um, I'm told Sigma does have one similar, which I believe is the E35. You might that should be E45. And then they have a concealer brush, which is F75, okay? So these are the brushes that came in the Sigma goodie bag. And then they also gave us a miniature eyeshadow palette sampler to try their new shadows from Dare Bear Flare. And here it is. It's this little. And then you open it, and it has three shades in it, okay? Can you zoom in? Can you see? All right, perfect. So, and then of course, Sigma has some little cards and stuff in here. I didn't really get to read it, but some little info thingies here about their new shadows and their brushes, their pro line and cleaning instructions. All right, and all tucked into a nice, fine mesh bag. Then, next, because I'm trying to go as quickly as possible, he gave us some L'Oreal Double Extend Eye Illuminator Mascara. One end is uh, mascara. The other end has illuminating top coat. This one, it says for brown eyes. Oh, this is one of Mario's favorite tools to use. This is Josie Marin's Bare Naked Wipes. Good to clean your face with. He likes to use this. We also have in here L'Oreal Sublime Bronze Pro Perfect Salon Airbrush Self Tanning Mist. Okay. Tatcha. That's how I pronounce it. T-A-T-C-H. Tatcha. And these are Japanese beauty papers. There are 30 sheets that come in here. Whoops. 30 sheets that come in here. It's not open, but yeah, here are the sheets. Okay. You want to blot the excess oil from off your skin. Then he gave us a pair of Ardell lashes, and it also comes with the clamper thingy that, you know, those of you who have a hard time putting it on, it comes with that. Also lash adhesive. 
Also in here, Peter Thomas Roth Anti-Shine Mattifying Gel. This is a good size. It's a one ounce. This means you can take this on the plane if you have it in a Ziploc bag. Lancome Paris Hypnose Doll Lashes. He loves to use this product a lot. I think he uses his on Kim K a lot. If you look at the bridal shot, I think it might be in his product breakdown. Then we have Dream Organics Rose Water. Isn't this cute? He likes to use this after setting uh, to set makeup sometimes, or it's just a good to hydrate the skin with. Of course, you're going to drink a lot of water. But I like the size because so it's very small. I just put it in my bag. Um, Josie Marin um, Magic Marker Lip Stain with Argan Color Stick. But anyway, got a couple of those, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, we do. There's at least two of them, two different shades. It doesn't tell me what color this one is, but yeah, two different colors. Actually, one says Waltz and one says Quick Step. Oh, that is. Okay, so it's magic. Uh, make the baby appear out of nowhere. Yeah, baby just woke up. On we go. Lancome, full size, 4.2 ounces is the, of the Bifacil. I don't know if you pronounce it Bifacil, Bifacil. It's spelled F A C I L, Facil. Um, the eye makeup remover. Tell you what else is in the bag. The Josie Marin Organic Oil Moisturizer. Okay, this is the 1.2 fluid ounce. I told you, we got tons of stuff in the goodie bag. Okay. Great for moisturizing your skin, but we'll go into that in another video. Uh, also in here are more Josie Marin products. Let's see. I have Josie Marin Argan Illuminizer. This is pretty. Okay. Haven't used it yet. And then, whoops, dropped something. Oh, drops. Here it is. More Josie Marin. Uh, let's see what this is. It doesn't say, actually, take it back. Argan Color Stick. One is in rosy. <laughs> Horace. That's the color. Mmm, smells good. What's that smell? I love that smell. It's a smell that I know. Lavender. I think that's what I smell. Lavender. And the second shade that was in there is Josie Marin Color Stick in Petal Pink, which has a nice shimmer to it. Yes, I definitely think I'm smelling lavender because I love the smell of lavender. Maybe I'm going to put some lavender water to well. Anyway, Peter Thomas Roth Kleine Matte All Day Oil Control Lotion, an SPF of 20. Urban Decay Eyeliner Pencil, and this is in Baked, which is like a golden kind of a color, um, if anybody has seen it. And I love Urban Decay Pencils, okay? They are very good. I find them to be waterproof, if you ask me. Another color that he has in here is Giella, Giella Custom Blend Cosmetics. Oh. <laughs> I guess it's a lip color. It looks like a lip color you 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 twist up. And his eye glam. Who is at my door at this ungodly time of the morning in the hurricane? <laughs> Last but not least is sorry, proactive oil free moisturizer. And then we have Giella concealer in number one. And a product that I am really, really, really loving is the eye glam. Pause for a second so I can find it. And just in case you're wondering, why is my face so naked? I will be my daughter's guinea pig. She decided that she wants to learn how to do makeup, so I will be her guinea pig. And she will be doing my makeup. So, we'll let you know how that turns out. Keep watching. And last but not least is my, um, the eye glam. I am glam, specifically. It's also made by Giella Cosmetics, but it's one was specifically... Oh no, specifically made by uh, uh, Mario. It is a wonderful, Gavin, stand up. It's a wonderful highlighter. As they said it's excellent for all people of different shades. I'd love to show you what it looks like on. Let's see. Can we even see that without it spilling? Anyway, I am in love with this stuff. I, I would swear I have something that's similar, but I don't. I tested it and it's just like, oh, come on now. There's nothing similar that I have. I just want to see what it looks like, this dry naked on my skin. Now, when I put it on my face, it doesn't go on like that. It just gives me a nice highlight. So anyway, keep watching and we're going to show you the videos. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Take care. Bye.
Say bye, Kevin. Say bye bye. Bye bye, Hurricane Irene. Bye. Uh -uh.